collaboration station with my pen bag. Basically, I just wanted to sit down and chat about these three pens, my thoughts on them. I also thought I'd give, take this opportunity to show you what I carry around every day, which is a little over the top. So here we go. Well, I had been using the, um, the Lamy All Star in the like, mint green color and switched it out because I'm crazy like that and can for the LX in the rose gold because I can't show you right now but it matches my phone and my phone case which is really satisfying. I just really like this one. I wanted to give it a try so I've been using this. I've been also carrying around my Sailor Pro Gear because it is my ride or die must have pen and I have been using the Muji fountain pen for a little bit to try it out because I wanted to really give it a go before I did a review, which I will do later. Please stay tuned. I finally got my hand on a couple of mild liners. They are notoriously hard to find. And the Michaels that they just opened in Seattle had them. So I got these two, this sort of like dusty rose color and a gray. And I really like the way that they write. They have the two sides, the fine tip and the sort of traditional wedge kind of tip for a highlighter and I like them a lot because I'm not really a fluorescent color person so I like that these have more of a cohesive color palette with everything else I have going on. When I was on vacation I also picked up one of these Marvy calligraphy pens and I do not do much calligraphy at all. This has the, oh, there we go, super thick thin wedge for calligraphy but I've been playing around some more and trying to you know broaden my horizons so I have that one in a nice purple color that I've been playing with I really like these Tombow mono I really like these Tombow mono drawing pens I'm carrying a 05 and an 01 so super thin and sort of medium I like having those around I've also been carrying one of the Uniball gel pens. This is the silver one for drawing on um, dark paper and writing on dark envelopes. I always like to have something around for that. I have well loved and worn out this Tombow dual brush marker. I really like the black one. We sell a lot of different colors in the shop, but the black one is sort of my, again, my ride or die. I like having this one a lot. So it has the, the, the brush tip which is nice and flexible and the thin tip. And I don't do a ton of hand lettering. I like my fountain pens. I write fast and messy and it's for my own purposes. But for these, actually like for drawing, um, I start with the thin tip for drawing the outlines, the line work I want, and then I can fill in the shading with this and has a really nice um, dark ink and like it a lot. And then, the last couple weird things that I have is the, I've got this Tombow glue pen. It has a nice thin point and a fairly decent adhesive. So if there's something I need to like real quick stick into my notebook, um, or if I'm doing any like collage work, which I'm not doing a ton of right now, but I'm always about to do a collage. That's always been my state of being. I really liked this one and they've been selling really well in the shop. So I need to get more because everybody's seeming to love them. And I also do. And then this is that uh, pair of scissors that I got from Muji at the airport a while ago. And that's always just nice to have a pair of scissors. If you need a scissor, I always, always have one handy. So that's what I've been carrying in my bag. In case you were wondering, you might have been, you might not have been, but now you know. Yes, so these three fountain pens are the ones I have been using quite a bit. Um, I think I've probably told you about my love for Sailor. This pen is just, gosh, it feels like a sports car to me. <laughs> Everything fits really well. It feels really nice. The weight of it is really nice. I like the size of it for my hand. Um, and this nib is always smooth. I never have a hard start. I never have skipping. It's just always ready to go, always smooth, 
just the right about amount of flow for my handwriting and I like how flexible the nib is. I never feel I just never feel like it's fighting against me. I always feel like it's working with me and that is why it is always always with me because what I want from a fountain pen is to be able to sit down with my notebook and write quickly and write as fast as my brain is working and I can't do that with a computer. I'm a pretty fast typer but it's a very different experience and I can't do that with a ballpoint pen. I've never been able to do that and ballpoint pens have always made me very angry. No matter how many I've tried, I just, it, they fail me. But this is the first pen in the history of my entire life that feels 100% uh, dependable. So that's how I feel about my sailor. So the price point is high. I think this one's 195. So it's not an inexpensive pen. It's like real gold fi fittings, a real gold nib, and they're beautifully crafted and every little thing like down to the the anchor on the top which like if you haven't noticed I I like anchors it's just it is just right like it is everything that I want in a pen and more so that is where I'm kind of starting with this is my like this is my pen this is what I like so I'm newer to Lamy, um, but this is the LX and the price point on this, this one's I believe $70 and the All Stars, which I've been writing with quite a bit as well, are $47, I believe. And so a much different price point. I really like the form factor of this pen and that's what drew me to them in the first place. They're really beautiful and I think I used the word sleek a hundred times in my previous Lamy video, which I'll put a card so you can take a look at that one. Um, I... I feel very fancy when I hold this pen. Um, it's a larger pen, so that's something that I have noticed. It's much larger, it's much bulkier. I don't really have an issue with the weight. Um, I actually really like the grip, the way that it is made with these flat bits and the way that you hold it feels really nice in my hand. I like it a lot. And I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, but I'm looking at how beautiful the pen is and I'm distracted and I like fountain pens. You know, that's what we do here. So I really like it. I like the way it holds. Um, I really like that Lamy makes so many colors of their ink cartridges because I like my converter on my Sailor. I like bottled ink and I like making it fancy. And if I'm going to take all the time to do fountain pen stuff, I want, I want to do it. You know, I want to do it. But if I have more than one pen inked up, at least one of them needs to be easy. And this one is nice and easy. And I've got a really beautiful turquoise ink in it right now. And I just, I, I've been enjoying it. Now I will say that this pen is the pen I grab if I'm going to be filling out a form or making a list or jotting down a few notes here and there. It is not the pen that I reach for if I need to like train of thought, flow of consciousness, get everything out of my brain onto paper. That's my sailor. It flows perfectly. This pen is great. It's a medium nib, same kind of nib. I think it's, it flows a little less and it is a lot stiffer. The nib is a lot more, it gives a lot more resistance. It still writes really well. I don't have any complaints. It's just a very different feeling, but that's why you have more than one pen because I've got now more than one ink color that I can choose and I don't need every pen to do the exact same thing for me. And I found that this one is better for certain papers than my Sailor, which has a little more flow to it. So there's certain papers where I'm just like, my lines have gotten huge and it's ridiculous. So I do like this for very different reasons and I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I think for an everyday pen, if I'm running out of the house, I've actually been grabbing this one for just quick on the go stuff. And I was going to a meeting directly after the Sounders match this weekend. And so I had my notebook with me in my clear bag we have to have. So I had my clear bag with like my scarf and my, you know, my wallet and my lip gloss or whatever, the things that I wanted to have with me, my jacket. And then I also had my notebook and this is the pen that I brought. And this is the first time I've ever brought a pen with me to a soccer match. And we, uh, Seattle Sounders beat the uh, LA Galaxy 5-0 in this match. So this is a lucky fountain pen and uh, yeah, just kind of funny to me that it's the first time I brought one and it was a humdinger of a match. So I'm feeling good about it. 
What are you gonna do? The third one that I wanted to show you is the Muji fountain pen. And again, I will put a card up here about our trip to Muji in Vancouver um, and, you know, all the fun we had there. And this was one of the things I wanted to pick up because I remembered seeing it in the airport um, when I was in New York and not wanting to pick it up then because I was trying to keep my purchases reasonable. They probably weren't. And they certainly weren't when I went to Vancouver. But I picked this up because I really wanted to give it a try and see. I believe it was around $20 with the exchange rate and then the road trip insanity. I can't remember exactly, but I looked and on Amazon you can get it for like $14 I saw and I saw other places it was as much as 40 or 30 I think. Yeah, other places it was much as... I can't talk. Why am I trying? It's fine. Caffeine is good. Anyways, so I, you know, anyways, it's in that like $15 to $30 price range. So a lot less expensive. And I was interested in it for a lot of reasons, but some of it was because it gave me some good nostalgic feelings about design school because it feels like an exacto knife. It's that aluminum feeling. It's got the little grip part like an exacto knife and it's got the lid and really it just, I liked the form factor. Now there's a few things about it I really think are cool. So if you look, the cap fits into the pen very smoothly. So you've got this like super sleek thing. And then when you put it in the back, there is a ring that the cap fits right into. So it's super sleek back here too. So I really like that. It is very minimalist, very straightforward. And the nib on it is not bad. I would say it's medium-ish as well. And it's kind of similar in a lot of ways to the Lamy pen. It is definitely a stiff nib. It is I would say when I write with this pen, I write more in print than I do in cursive. It's still, I can't totally print and I can't totally cursive. I have one of those hybrid handwritings that my third grade cursive teacher would be very mad about, but what are you gonna do? Sorry. Um, but yeah, so I this one I would say definitely does not flow as well. It definitely doesn't have as much of that I feel like Alexander Hamilton kind of fountain pen vibe, but it is a dang good pen for the price. And honestly, I, I've i been enjoying it. So I've been carrying it around and giving it its fair shot. It's not the one that I'm going to grab out of the three most occasions, but I have been enjoying it. And the real testament is I brought it home and Mr. Snail Mail Superstar, uh, he kind of uh, called dibs. This is very up his Alley. And he actually asked if we could buy another one so he could keep it in our new desk. And I was like, babe, you can have this one. This can be our collaboration station desk fountain pen, which was cool because I've never seen him interested in a fountain pen or grab for one. And he's been using this one. So I'm going to try to go and grab him and see if he'll play ball and tell me what he thinks about it. We'll see how this goes. Hold on. A few moments later. I like the Muji fountain pen. It looks like an exacto knife. I'm gonna do this. Sarah does that a lot. Oh, it's not going into focus. That's it. Okay, so no idea what he said. He begged me not to be on camera and I'm apparently a meanie. Sorry, babe. Anyway, so that is my not comprehensive, but as comprehensive as you're going to get around here, fountain pen review for the three fountain pens I've been using lately. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any fountain pen questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I am no expert and don't come over here, fountain pen people, and thumbs down my video because I see you. I know what you're doing. Anyways, <laughs> whatever. I love fountain pens. I'm enjoying getting to know different fountain pens. I love selling fountain pens and helping beginners find the fountain pen that they're looking for and try them out and whatever. I really enjoy that. And you know, hey, so I'm gonna keep talking about them here because you can't have snail mail without something to ride it with. And that's what we got going on over here today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I also kind of enjoy that this fountain pen sort of matches my eye makeup. In case you're curious, I, my very sweet, very cute sister intern, Beth, went to Ulta and picked up um, 
one of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes for each of us. She got the purple one, the Bling Boss, I think. And this one is the Ring the Alarm, sort of warm tones, and I'm really enjoying it. And with the coupon she had, it was $12, which can't go wrong. So you have now received all of the unsolicited reviews that you could possibly want. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you have a great weekend. And thank you for tuning in to the Snail Mill Superstar Collaboration Station Fountain Pen Review Extravaganza. Farewell. <coughs> Sorry. Snail Superstar. Hi, Lola. Do you like fountain pens?